Hi friends, it's Elizabeth Stone. Today I have got a really special treat for you. I'm here with Mr. Tim. He's been with me a long time and we are going to make Mr. Tim's special gumbo. Okay. So here we are. I'm with Mr. Tim and he's going to walk us through the steps of the gumbo. So what's the very most important thing we do with gumbo, Mr. Tim? The very most important thing is to get the... Uh, root right because if you don't get that right well then, then we're you, done. Won't, you won't have a good gumbo that's right? like almost working steps so okay. everything with the gumbo is in steps and once it's lined up right and the gumbo is going to come out right all right so tell me what we've got in here right this is now just some i oil? have some oil which just is the canola kind of it's just the canola, canola oil. oil yes and about um, how much you got in there maybe I a have, cup? it's like uh, almost like three-fourths of a cup three-fourths of a cup yes all right and then we're going to add what i'm going to add three Four cups of the flour. Okay, so it's equal amounts yes. of flour and oil. Okay. Yes. So my mama used to use butter, Mr. Tim, so, but you like oil better, right? Yes, because it makes a better texture of the roux. And you know what, Miss Liz, in New Orleans, they use the large short. Oh, wow. Really? They, 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 for some reason, why? That the lard goes way back. Wow. Uh, it, 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 that's a New Orleans tradition because that's what I used to use at Greco's with the Lord. And so how long were you in New Orleans? I was Jim? in New Orleans uh, 12 years. Wow. And you've been with me for almost almost uh, 20 now, yes, right? 17, 18 yes, years? Yes, ma'am. Time, time flies. Time flies. But <laughs> yes. we've had a lot of fun, haven't we, yes, Mr. Tim? All right. So here we go. Okay. You've got the oil and you let the oil get hot first? Yes, it's hot. And I don't want it to get too hot because it do the flour. It'll burn the flour. What? Okay. It's going to... It's gonna, Burn it too fast, then I might even have to lift it up so it won't. So you're uh, taking it off burn. the flame yeah. a little bit so yeah, it doesn't so, get so burned. Yes, 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 ma'am. So it won't, you know, cook. This, this here was slow to cooking temperature down. Okay. And, heat. and then, see, now, now I could just whisk it and whisk it until, you you're know, that color. Always moving it in. the whole time, yes, right? <laughs> you got to move it because once you stop, it's and then burn. if it burns, and then if it get those little dark crystals and then you got to start our way back over so we know so we if we get little dark crystals in there we toss burnt. it out and yeah. start over again <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay not going so now you're just going to stir this here and i'm looking it's on a pretty high medium high yeah medium high, high. that's a good that's a good uh okay temperature and it's that. just gonna you're gonna stir it now look it's already turned this beautiful light brown mm -hmm. color but what you know, I was reading a, a recipe once, and it said there are like five different colors of a roux. Yes, ma'am. You, you got the blonde roux, and you got a light roux, you got a blonde roux, and then you got something like uh, caramel, and then you got another dark brown. It's like kind of a reddish brown, right? It well, gets there, and well, then... Well, see, that, that's what the tomatoes are for. Ah, See, okay. everybody, everybody don't put tomatoes in their roux, but I found out that the tomatoes give it flavor, and it gives it color. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, then you go into a darker root, right? Well, so yeah, with well, the, uh, the gumbo, you should, you don't want it dark, dark, because uh, I've seen the dark, some of the dark roots, and uh, I didn't like that color. We, like when you put the tomatoes in there, you know, the, the color of it is still going to yeah. be dark, but we're for... Uh, it's going to get a, a brown color. You just so got now we're almost here. Yes, it's changing uh -huh. again. So we've got this almost caramel color caramel. now, right? It's so we're so going way past. We're going way past the caramel. So now we're, we're, we're going moving to go into, into a, like a light brown almost, right? Yeah, we're right? going to go into a little dark brown. Not See how this stuff is getting over here? Yeah. See how that is? Yeah. Let me move it around. Sometimes when things uh, are getting too much heat, then turn it down a little bit. Then you, if you move it around... That's why, like a lot of times when we saute it in the saute station, yeah. you always see skillets moving, moving because so you know it. if if this stuff just sits still, yeah. and then the stuff in the, the this flour that's on the uh, on the ingredients, they're gonna start the burning, and then what's gonna happen then is uh is this stuff is gonna be too overcooked. Yeah, okay. now look here we got another okay. color coming down okay. too, right? Yes, ma'am. You want okay. me to turn this heat down? All right, turn again? it down, turn it down. Off yes, or just turn here? it down, turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, okay, here. Okay, now I'm going with this, the garlic. Okay, okay. so that's just yes, fresh chopped garlic. Oh, yes, ma'am. See, that's a nice, pretty, that's a pretty nice color. That's yeah, that's nice a color. good kind of deep. And then I'm going with the, with the veggies. Okay, two, so what's two, in the veggies? Two tablespoons, celery, onions, and pepper, two tablespoons of each one. All right. Now, all of you that know me know that I don't like green bell peppers, but... I like them in Mr. Tim's gumbo. Yeah. Well, it's, got, it, <laughs> it's not going to be gumbo with that no, little green no, pepper, it's right? Not, you okay. Know. Well, you know, in New Orleans, they call the the celery, onions, and peppers, just tomatoes in. Yeah. They call it the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. 
So All right, now what was that? That some was dice the tomatoes? dice crushed tomatoes, okay. yes. Okay, so not tomato paste, just a no, little dice crushed dice tomato. About tomatoes. how much of that? Uh, that was almost uh, three-fourths of a, uh, of a container, of a three cup. Three-fourths of a cup. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, now, now look at it. Now you see that? Mm. Now. Starting now to that, smell good, isn't it? Smell well, that well. You know that. That's the, onion, you know the, that's rue, the Holy Trinity yes, coming out, right? Yes, ma'am. You know right? the rue is getting right when you smell that aroma. <laughs> okay, now we are going with uh, the uh, chicken stock. All right, now how, that's about uh, three cups, maybe? Uh, yes, ma'am. That's about three, yeah, about three-fourths of, of a quart, yeah. Three-fourths of a quart or three yeah. cups. Okay, yeah. so now, now he's I'm just going to stir it until it mix in, until it's smoothed out. And... Uh, then I'll add the seasonings, which would be the thyme, the oregano, and the sweet basil. Okay. So and now a couple of bay leaves. It looks like it's clumping up, but that's normal, no, no, right? When you put that in and then you just keep yeah, oh, moving yes, it, it's going to come right together. Oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. It's going to come. It's going to come. It's just going to take time. I trust you. Let me open that up and pour a little bit of that in there. A little there. more broth? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, it takes almost like 20, 20 minutes. Wow. Let me shake this up. So this is just chicken, this chicken stock. stock. Yes, ma'am. That we've, uh, he's got ready here. Mm -hmm. All right, how much more you want to put Let's go, pull, in? pull. Okay, okay. That's good? Okay, yes, All right, so now we've got almost a full quart of chicken broth in there. So okay. four cups, that's four mm -hmm. cups. Yeah, okay. It's looking good. Yeah, now it's, you know, that's how long So now you were telling me, so after we get everything in here, we're going to let this cook for about an hour. Yes, we need to said? cook for about an hour. That's when the flavor really sets in because if they don't cook for an hour then you're going to have that roux the roux leaves taste a taste that flavor yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, that flower yeah, you yeah. taste it yeah, yeah roux has a has that taste and then if you don't let it cook then like i said he said oh some, some people say well i still taste the roux and it's called the reason why you know okay one thing that pigna teller told me is you got to let stuff cook until the flavor sets in yeah and, yeah and so that, that's like cooking you know anything uh if uh if stuff don't cook long enough then the flavor it's not going to set in and you're not going to have. Well, and that's why cook. every time Mr. Tim makes this or his etouffee or any of his soups, that's why they're good because we let it sit and simmer for right. about an hour and get all those flavors yes, melted yes, together, man. right? Yes. Look, that all just has come mm -hmm. together perfectly. Yeah, yeah pigment toast just seeds. Don't beautiful. rush it. Don't rush it. And then he always, oh, the flavor's in the bottom of the skillet. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. true, isn't it? Yes. That's where all the good stuff is. All right, so now we've gone another three or four minutes here, uh -huh. and this has got this beautiful, yeah. smooth texture. Yeah, it's got texture, a good color, yeah. And it's it a beautiful a color. color. All right, I'm going to smell yes, it. It mm, has a good color. That's starting to smell like some good gumbo, Mr. Tim. Yes, I like the way it looks. It's beautiful. It's a good color. All right, and then what's next? What are we putting in there next? Uh, I'm going to do... The bay leaves. Ah, how many bay leaves? A couple Two of bay, bay leaves. leaves. Yes, ma'am. And it's a half a teaspoon of each one of these. Of the thyme, thyme and what the else? oregano, and the sweet basil. Half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of dried basil, and a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a couple of bay leaves. Woo! Now, now that just changed the aroma, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Those bay leaves, I love bay leaves in soup. Ooh, it really yes, gives it a bay really leaves, rich flavor, doesn't it? Bay leaf gives out, gives a good flavor in all types of uh, dishes. You yeah, know? you use bay leaves in a lot of stuff. You know? Now, Mr. Tim, you and I like okra in our gumbo, but some people don't put okra in their gumbo, right? Well, sometimes you don't, but you know, most of the time, well, every place I always work, we always put okra. Yeah. But you know, some people, you know, they won't, they don't want okra. You know, they don't, they don't put it. And you know what? Some, uh, it's well, it was there. Another thing they used to put in the gumbo in uh, New Orleans is the fillet powder. Yeah. The fillet, yeah. And I see now. I don't like fillet powder. I don't like that flavor. Yeah. Well, Do a lot you of like people it? Know. I, well, you know what? Sometimes when I, uh, when I make it, I have, if I have some fillet. At the house, I just sprinkle a little bit. Just a touch, right? It. Yes, ma'am. But always at the end, yes, right? You know, it's always at the end. At the yeah. very end. Yeah, you never put fillet powder in uh, in the gumbo, you know, in the beginning because it's gonna leave a, a strong flavor. Turn it down a little bit more. <laughs> so, gumbo is sort of, if I think about it, it's like it's a regional recipe from New Orleans, Ooh. and everybody sort of has their own version every, of it, right? Every restaurant. Uh, Every they, chef, every yes, cook has their own Yes, ma'am. They work on their it. own gumbo, and uh, 
it's like, uh, well, they got this person, this restaurant had the best gumbo, that restaurant had the best gumbo, and all of them try to have the best gumbo. <laughs> you know, when I first went to do all this, I, I, I don't know what the uh, what restaurant it was, but when me and Pig Nutella had come out of Las Vegas, uh, we had, I didn't, I didn't like the gumbo. Yeah. And he said, Pig, Pig Nutella said, well, everybody eats gumbo here. I said, well, Pig Nutella, I never eat it. And then when I taste it, I said, well, I don't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> but now you like it. Well, yes, yes, ma'am. Well, once I started working with it and seeing what was going on. You fixed it the way you liked it. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So this, another thing I was going to ask you, so what I've heard is a lot of people that are like closer to the coast, um, they use a lot of seafood in their gumbo. Yes, and then the people more inland Louisiana mainly do like chicken and sausage chicken or and duck sausage, and sausage, yeah. right? Yes, yes ma'am. But we've uh -huh. sort of developed something here that we like. So we're going to use shrimp. But we're also going to use a venison sausage, yes, right? And yes. we use a venison sausage that we get. It's very lean, but it has a really nice smoky flavor to yes, it. And it's a really good blend I'm with gonna, that. I could really go okay, so we're going to saute okay. the sausage a little bit. Yes. You want this? Okay. Uh, there you go. And yeah. I'll keep stirring this. Just a little. So we've yeah, got a little yeah. oil on the skillet. Yes. And I love how Mr. Timmy always makes sure the bottom of his skillet is all covered with oil. I don't always do that. That's a good trick to know. Well, it's uh, basically it's uh, it's uh, that's come from just sauteing, Miss Liz, because you know mm, when uh that smells good. when we saute, you uh you want your skillet hot, and sometimes we leave the skillet sitting, you know, on the grill where they're already hot. And get hot. it really hot, just yeah. Just now, when when we pick it up and put it on the burner then it always be hot because you want to start, if you busy. You want to start with a hot skillet, right? Yeah, you don't want to yeah, start with a cold yeah, because skillet. When you busy like you're in New Orleans, you want, to, you want stuff to start cooking right away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now this is about a cup, a half cup. Yes, ma'am, this is a half a cup of the uh, venison, venison smoked sausage. sausage. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting hungry over yeah, here. Well, it's, <laughs> it's starting well, to well, smell well, really good. Gumbo. After the gumbo cook for well, an hour. Well, you're going to make me wait a whole hour for yes, I can eat some gumbo. <gasps> well, if you want to eat it before, it's not going to be right. <laughs> I know. I know, Mr. Tim. All good things take time. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put that sausage in. Yeah. And then do you saute the shrimp a little bit too? Yes, I sa saute the shrimp also. And but then like what about said, the okra? You do that a little the bit The okra too? has been uh, baked in the oven. And the reason why, because uh, you put a little oil on it and it gets the slime off. So okay, so wait a minute. Tell me back. So you take the okra and put some oil on it and put it on a pan it, bake, in the yes, oven Yes, now bake it in the long? oven. Uh, well, this is I only bake about 15 minutes in the oven and it's, uh, and it's uh, see, it's, uh, it's slimeless. So the slime comes off yes, when you Yes, ma'am, with that. the oil, with the oil and with the oil on it. Okay. Some some people put it in the skillet, but I always uh, learn something new every day. I always day. put it up. Uh, I always put it in the oven. I have a friend that says every day is a school day, so today is a good school day for me. I'm learning all sorts of tricks. All right, so you're just getting that little brown, yes, releasing some of those flavors yes. in it, right? Yes, ma'am. Right. Sometimes people just put it in raw, but uh, yeah, but it's much. Uh, I it's see it's flavor, got a little brown, yeah. and the the flavor always gets better when you saute. Okay. Yeah. So okay. now you're going to saute the shrimp too? No, I'm going to saute the shrimp. Let me, I can saute the shrimp now just to get that out of the way. Yeah. But I'm not going to put the shrimp oh, in right now. Oh, not yet. Okay. No. And, and then the, I'll just put the, the shrimp. okra we don't have to saute no, because you already baked it the oven. The okra has already been uh, okay. baked in the oven. And so you let it cook a little bit before you put the shrimp in? Is that what you do? Well, yes. Well, this, like I say, after it cooks for an hour, uh, oh, you think you put the shrimp in? Yes, ma'am. The oh, shrimp, okay. like right I said, the shrimp. The, 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 okra, the okra goes first before the shrimp, and then the shrimp, and then, you know, you are. Uh, we're almost at the end of the cooking process. Okay. Yes. So now we're gonna just let it uh, cook. Simmer. Yeah. We're simmer. gonna bring yes, it to a simmer. Yes, ma'am. And just let it simmer for one hour. Yes, ma'am. You have to keep stirring it, or you just kind of uh, every, well, every now and every then. Every now and then, you know, you you can stir it because. Uh, if you don't, well, when it for, when you first put the roux in, you need to con, you need to stir it consistently because if it sticks, well, you know you okay. don't want it to stick because it, it it will stick. It and will. so on the sausage, we sliced it and then you cut it in half, right? Yes. yes. And uh -huh. the same thing on the shrimp. It shrimp, looks like you the cut it in half. The shrimp has been cut in half too. Cut yeah, in you half don't want to put the and whole shrimp in. And we use a, a, a twenty-one, twenty-five shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You can use a bigger shrimp if you want, sure or can. a smaller shrimp. 
but that's the size that we like is 21 25 so you still get a nice piece of shrimp but it's cut in half you can still see that it's a shrimp right yes ma'am okay so nope. anything else we're going to do right now we're going to let it cook we're for just going to let it cook right now all right and, so and you gonna... and you know sometimes you know crabs go in shrimp oh in their i gumbo know too. now i love crab gumbo yes, too that was well, what my grandmother well made you know i always gumbo. make gumbo for certain people sometimes like my doctors and uh and uh the uh people that was at the uh at the uh, screening for the cancer, you know, yeah. I made uh, Miss Fram and them. I made them gumbo and they tripped. Crab gumbo? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I bet it was good, wasn't yes, it? Yes, ma'am. It was good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be back in just a few minutes, but we're really going to let this cook for an hour and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. Yes. Okay. So friends, here we are. It's been an hour and I am starving, so I can't wait to taste this. So, Mr. Tim, it looks like that uh, just a minute ago you put in the okra yes. and the shrimp, right? Yes, that we'd already we sauteed. Added that last. Yes, and so it's been in there about five minutes, and we're going to let it just cook in there for just, just a minute. Simmer in, simmer in just a little bit longer. And man. then you told me you had a secret. Yes, ma'am, I what? do have a secret, and it's right in here. You want me to tell them what it yeah, is? Yeah, let's tell them what it is. Okay, I'm just going to put a pinch of the. Uh, Cayenne pepper ah, in it there. Ah, but now just yeah. a pinch. Yes, ma'am. That's a, that's all we need is a pinch because I put more than a pinch. Uh, it's probably going to be too hot. Okay. So, you know, now, you know, Mr. Tim, my sister loves gumbo. She loves your gumbo, but she always puts some Tabasco in it. Does oh, that yeah, work? Well, Tabasco, no, 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 okay. Tabasco don't, don't run it. I mean, people put, put all type of, they put stuff in their gumbo after it gets to the table. They could put what they want in it. So, uh, so always. So you, it's for that person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know what? In New Orleans, they have all different types of hot sauces. They do. That in restaurants hot and yeah, and then so people add whichever type of hot sauce they that like. uh, that they like. You know. And, and then, do you generally like your gumbo over rice, or you like it uh, just plain? I like mine with a little bit of rice, you know, on top. You know, just a little. Yeah. Some right? people like uh, a lot of rice. Rice. They like a gumbo rice with the gumbo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Because well, in New Orleans, the most of the people they get a couple of big scoops of rice and then they just put their gumbo over top of that, maybe a ladle, and it's really it, it, it's no it's no it's juice. It's more rice than it yes, is gumbo. See, I that. like the gumbo. I yeah. can just eat well, it by I, I, itself. I don't like it like that. I like it with a little juice and a little bit of rice, yeah. and so you know you have some stock there. All right, you think it's ready to taste? Yes, ma'am, it's ready to taste. It's just, it went for Ooh, an hour, so it should it be just good. It taste looks good. All right, let's give it a whirl, Mr. Tim. Okay. Let's see. You tell me how you think you did. Okay. <laughs> so you know you better blow on the spoon because you oh, know yeah, it's hot it's coming out of the skillet. It's going to be real so. hot yes, coming out of the skillet. Oh, look, it's bubbling. Oh my God, that is delicious. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you can taste, taste all those flavors, yes, right? Sure I love can. that thyme and that oregano yes, in there. Right. Mm. That's what you want to taste. That's the secret. You, that's you the secret. You all the herbs and the spices and, and the whole got just a little trinity and everything that you put it in little, there, and then that gives you the good right flavor. Little spice right at the end, but not yes, too much. Not too much. Yeah, you so, could always spice it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, friends, we're coming to you, making cooking easy for you. It's been a pleasure being with Mr. Tim yes. today. Thank you. Remember, enjoy the experience and have fun. Until next time, yes, cheers, Mr. Tim. Cheers, Mr. Tim. Yes, thank thank you. you. All right. <laughs>